guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video my name is crystal and today we're going to go through my march favorites in beauty and makeup so i've got a couple of things to go through today i'm going to go through my top items that i love so before we dive into the video i just wanted to say i hope you're all keeping safe and well and looking after your friends and family in these trying times i know that a lot of us are talking about the physical health implications of the issues that are going on around the world but i think that we really need to start talking about is the mental implications of what's going on and how this is going to really impact people's lives moving forward whether you have a job whether you don't have a job whether you have a family whether you're alone it's going to impact everybody on a mental level regardless in some capacity so definitely check in with all of your friends your family and really take the time to ask them if they're okay and um, we will get through this together also before we jump into the video do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of videos I'm going to make this a monthly thing I am trying to produce a lot more content now whilst I have the time um, and and I thought this would be my first ever favorites video. And if you guys like it, I will make it very consistent and I definitely will not forget. So do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and possibly even give me a follow over on Instagram. I will have my links on the screen for you guys to go and check me out. I'm trying to be a little bit more active over there as well. I'm more predominantly focused on fitness on my personal account, but I'm very makeup focused on my makeup artistry account, which they will be on the screen for you to have a look at. So that's pretty much everything from me. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So I have quite a few products here that I want to talk to you guys about. I have basically something from every single category. So lips, eyes, face, and also a product to remove makeup as well. So I'm just going to dive into the eye products first. The first thing that I have been loving in the month of March, I purchased this at the beginning of March and I've only recently had a bit of a play with it. I've actually got a tutorial using this palette up on my channel. I'll have it linked in the description box below and I'll also have it in the cards for you guys. It is the Amrezy Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. This packaging is literally to die for but you know what the product is even better so the beauty about this palette is that you have a lot of neutral tones in here but then you also have pops of color as well so if you're feeling a bit creative you can totally use the pops of color to really amplify your look take it to the next level but you've also got colors in there that are appropriate for the everyday so for example this shade here barb is my new favorite pink because it's subtle it doesn't look subtle in the pan, but when you put it on the lid, it's a really great topper for the eyes. I love it over the top of Wasted. It literally makes the best combination on the eyelid. I really think that a bright color on my lids really pop a look for me because I have deep set eyes and using a dark tone on my lid and then blending that out really makes it look like my eyes sit deeper into my head and I I'm not about that life. So that is literally my favorite combination at the moment. And I love New Yorker and OG. This is definitely a palette that is worth your investment. I know that Anastasia has released a lot of palettes recently. Um, over the last 12 months, there's just been so many. But this one is definitely a great investment because you've got some real unique shades in there as well. Following on from that, I have the Hourglass scattered light glitter eyeshadow in the shade reflect this is just a pressed glitter but it's almost moussey textured so it has the best color payoff you do not need a glitter glue or anything like that for this particular shadow but honestly look at the reflect on that i mean the name of this product literally hits the nail on the head it is literally scattered light these are beautiful when you're doing like a halo eye or even if you just want to bring something to life this is the kind of thing that i would use on bridesmaids and brides but i mean if you're the kind of person who wants to use glitter on the daily this could work so if you haven't had a chance to try these from hourglass and if you haven't had a chance to try hourglass at all as a brand definitely dabble in the scattered light glitter eyeshadows because they are definitely worth the investment especially if eyeshadow is your thing okay so moving on to a foundation i have been loving this foundation my skin has broken pretty badly lately i think it's due to stress and snacking i've been eating a lot of junk food i have been loving the dior backstage foundation this is absolutely beautiful it's super customizable it works really well for oily and combination skin it does tend to hold quite well throughout the day you do get longevity with this product it is a face and body so it does have this Oh, it's leaking everywhere. Oops. Ugh. It does have that like squeezy top um, and just then it was leaking everywhere, which is a pain. This one that I have here is in the shade 2N. It's absolutely stunning. If you haven't had a chance to try this, I definitely recommend going out and giving it a go. Now, this is a bit of a blast from the past. I have been obsessed with this concealer the mac pro longwear concealer this is in the shade nc20 oh my god this has been around forever and i've only just 
tried it. I don't know why people don't talk about it as much as they used to because it is quite fantastic. It's not too expensive either. MAC as a brand, as a high-end brand, actually isn't too bad in terms of cost. If you haven't had a chance to try this, definitely pick it up. I love it. The longevity on this is fantastic. I suffer from really, really bad creasing. This does not crease on me. It's very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. If you can't get your hands on that, definitely give this a go. Keeping with the theme of MAC, I also have the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Rose. This stuff is amazing. So I don't do too well with the regular Fix Plus. I don't know what it is about that particular product. It just oils me up so bad. I can literally only use it to dampen my brush. But this, I don't know what it is, the rose, it does something to my skin and it balances it out. And I can now finally understand why people say that this product is so fantastic. So from now on moving forward, I will not be buying the original Fix Plus. I'll be buying this one. So if you do suffer from combination to oily skin, Give this a go if you've had problems with the original Fix Plus because I don't know what it is about it, but Rose must just be this secret ingredient that no one's really talking about and it's fantastic for people who have the same kind of skin type as me. This is the best primer ever. Like I swear to God, I've used a lot of primers. I do love the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Primer, but this one is actually a pretty strong contender against that. It's the Tarcha, the Silk Canvas. This is in the original. So it just looks like this. I'm not quite sure if you can see it on the screen, but it's completely solid. I've never used a solid primer before, so I was a little bit intimidated by it, but honestly, I don't know what it does. It literally just, it sits in your pores, but not in a way that clogs them. And it just literally airbrushes everything. And I honestly thought I was going to have problems with this with oils because oil buildup is just so it just happens all the time for me like I'm constantly having to powder down my foundation it's just so frustrating and I was really worried because of the texture of this it's that silky I mean I guess that's the name it's a real silky texture and being that it was putty like I thought that it was just going to build up oils super quickly but it doesn't I really really love this product so much so that I want to get it in the liquid form the newer version of it which is in the bottle I'm definitely going to pick that up after I have gotten through this one so a bronzer that I have been obsessed with the last month has been by Fenty Beauty it is the Sun Stalker instant warmth bronzer in the shade shady biz so this is what it looks like here it is literally the perfect tone so i find it's a little bit difficult for me to use shades like mac gimme sun it's just a little bit too orange for me i just doesn't pull well on my skin tone i'm a pinky based tone i'm not yellow based it doesn't really work too well for me i need to find something that has a kind of a gray or a brown base to it i can't really have much orange now this one is a really nice balance of touching slightly in that orange spectrum but still predominantly staying in that brown space so it's a really nice balance i have it on today i really love the way that it's come out on my skin i'm fair at the moment and this shade is still working on my skin tone so i wear this when i'm fair and i also wear it when i'm fake tan it's quite a multi-purpose sort of product it doesn't patch up it doesn't break apart throughout the day it remains consistent and that's what i expect of my products i expect consistency paying a high price tag for these products for literally powder in a pan i want it to work it's definitely something that i have been enjoying in the month of march and i will continue to use into april when i do wear makeup which is literally just to film these videos at the moment let's be real i love fenty beauty i think that this is fantastic so a highlighter that i was really loving in the month of march was by anastasia beverly hills it is the liquid glow highlighter this is in the shade perla i think this is absolutely beautiful it's really really easy to use on the skin i find that the cover fx custom enhancer drops i think that's what they're called they are just a little bit too potent for my liking whereas this one is just a really nice sheen it blends in really well there is literally no glitter in there at all. It's just a beautiful glow. And this looks absolutely stunning on the body as well. So if you're working with brides or you're working on a set of some kind, this is absolutely beautiful. So I just think that it was a really nice investment. It works beautifully by itself on the skin. It looks very skin-like. Glow from within, which I love. It works underneath other highlighters as well. If you really want that beaming highlight, then make sure that 
everyone knows that you're wearing the most intense, the most beautiful product ever. You can see it from space. Works with this. So literally my favorite product, I think I talked about it in my 2019 favorites as well. I'll have that video linked in the description box below. But literally the Huda Beauty matte bullet lipsticks are so beautiful. I want to collect all of them. Like I haven't wanted to collect a lipstick in a long time. And literally these are the only ones that I have been drawn to that I'm obsessed with. So I have prom night and anniversary here. Beautiful neutral shades that you can use on anyone one and they swatch fantastically they're matte but they're a soft matte so being that they're a soft matte they're really easy to wear these swatches are horrendous sorry guys i have no idea what i'm doing the top one is prom night and then the bottom one is anniversary super neutral shades they work for an array of skin tones i think if you needed just two from the collection these are the two shades to go for i got prom night because molly may talked about it in one of her videos but i already had anniversary and i loved it and i knew that i wanted another one so when she mentioned that prom night was her favorite i was was like well it looks good on her i'm gonna give that one a go and i love it so much it's a beautiful everyday lipstick so i would definitely recommend you go out and try them because they are so comfortable they're so long wearing you don't need a lip liner you can use one if you want but honestly they're just so good on their own super reliable okay so the last two products for my favorites is like a lip combination i love the products on their own but i like them as a combination Better. These are the kind of shades that I just gravitate towards all the time. So I have the Stila Caramello Liquid Lipstick. This has been around forever. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll just give you guys a swatch. I just can't swatch. I suck at it. So that is what Caramello looks like on the skin. And then to go with it, I love the Hourglass Unreal Lip Glosses. This is in the shade Provoke. So specifically this shade goes amazingly with Caramello. So Caramello being a liquid lipstick, it does take a bit to dry down. But I'll swatch this one for you guys as well. Like I said, horrendous at doing swatches. But these are the two of them side by side. They're definitely within the same color family. But literally the Caramello shade being a little bit darker than Provoke literally when you put the two together they create the most beautiful glossy pinky nude it literally is so universal so if you haven't tried these two products yes they are expensive the hourglass lip glosses are ridiculous i think there's something like 55 dollars for a lip gloss but literally life-changing honestly if you haven't tried them just try Provoke and I can guarantee you will have a new favorite. They've definitely been an obsession of mine in March and I cannot wait to continue wearing them into April and into May as well. I actually forgot to mention these face wipes that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So they are by the brand Simple. They are good for sensitive skin. These are the number one facial skincare brand in the UK. I found these when I was in Woolworths one time. I literally wanted to get the regular ones, but then I saw they had these biodegradable cleansing wipes. These get your makeup off next level and you're doing your bit for the environment. I know that makeup wipes are not good for the environment. They're good to get the bulk of your makeup off, but they will not get everything off. You do still need to cleanse once you do use a makeup wipe, but these are fantastic. I mean, being that they're biodegradable as well, I just, I feel like I'm doing a little bit better for the environment versus using my Neutrogena wipes that are not biodegradable and they're just contributing to the waste. So if you haven't tried these, go down to your local Woolies, give them a go. They're absolutely amazing. I think they're like $7.50 a pack. I literally bulk buy when they go on sale. These are like my ride or die. I love these now. Obsessed. So that's everything from me for my March favorites. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you like seeing these kind of videos. I don't see them as commonly on YouTube as I used to. I do love watching them though because, I mean, this is more of a shop my stash kind of favorites. I haven't really been purchasing makeup lately. I do have a haul video on my channel, but that was a collective haul. So that was over a period of time. I haven't been buying large amounts of makeup and trying heaps of different brands and different products consistently. So let me know if you like these videos, if this is still something you're interested to see on my channel and thank you so much for tuning into my channel today and watching this video with me if you've made it to the end i really appreciate it thank you so much i hope you're keeping healthy happy well both physically and mentally and do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you go i'm going to be putting out as much content as i possibly can over the next couple of weeks i'm really really enjoying creating content for you guys and do not forget to check me out on instagram as well i will be uploading every thursday and every saturday 
Saturday consistently for the next couple of weeks as long as I have the content to show to you guys. So I hope you've had a lovely day. And again, thank you for tuning into this video with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye. Thank you.